Hello, in this video I will show you how to create subscription form in Descendant Blue. By the way, my name is Airedas Kerstukas and if you get any benefit, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's begin. In this video you will learn how to make subscription form in Descendant Blue which you can use in the WordPress or other application like uh, Facebook. If anyone will enter their details in the form, the details would be recorded in the particular send in blue list. So let's begin. When it comes to gaining more subscribers, you want to set up sign up form so that people can subscribe to your list. If you want to create a form, you go into the forms and then you create first subscription form. In this scenario, I wanted to show you that probably it's good idea to give something people for free in exchange of their email. Otherwise, we don't have that much interest to leave it if you would just leave subscribe form. We're gonna call this one get elementor templates. It is good to press and enable GDPR fields. If you wanted to learn more, you can press open new link and then read what it is and what it is. The basic of this is that it protection of the people data. Then you go next and you go to design section. As you can see in the top, you can view in a computer view or on a phone view how your form gonna be displayed. In this case, keep in mind that as less information and as less fields form have, the more likely more people will be popping into your list. Newsletter, I don't really kind of wanted to keep this one, so I just gonna delete it in this case. Yes, delete. Subscribe to our newsletter and stay update. I gonna delete this one as well. I wanted to leave just email address. I expect people already know by now what is email address. So in this scenario, don't need extra description what we should enter. I gonna delete this. Uncheck help text checkbox. Going back, I going to attribute and gonna drop one up to the top. Pick first name. I wanna record first name. If you don't, you can just leave it email as well. I don't wanna that would be help text as I think people know what it is first name. Agree and receive your newsletters and accept the data. So I just gonna delete this one as well. And this one we use and then you can leave it or you can delete it. I gonna delete it as well. So we have simple form. I wanna insert some image on the top and gonna add some image and then gonna drop here. You can adjust the size if you want, but I think it's good enough. I like how it did this displayed and then go to the subscribe button, select and let's change the color. Okay, like and in the middle, I'm gonna pop it. You still have a background. So this kind of background, as you see, is around this form that's gonna be displayed in your website. So keep in mind, maybe this one gonna be required, come back and adjust it by your design page. Let's say we are happy with the design. We are gonna press next and then send in blue recommend us use the Google recapture in our forms. And if you would return to this tab and try to add the recapture, side key and secret key would be required. If you would press get your key, you would transfer to Google. I hope that you already have an account with the Google. So make sure you don't press get started button, but press admin console. After that you will be redirected to Google Recapture. Try to create the label which would have some association with the created form. So I'm gonna call template and then you can choose Recapture 3 or Recapture 2. I'm gonna pick this one. I don't want to ask extra tick for people. So I'm gonna pick invisible one and then the domain. Let's say I would love to put this form in 
my website so i would just copy and paste but as you will see this is not right domain what you're supposed to put in here so i will accept the recapture submit and then you will be able to see your keys so just copy and paste and secret key copy and paste pick here invisible recapture press next and here you could pick to which list subscribers would be saved. Let's say we're gonna create new one and gonna call templates, select the folder. I'm gonna select the first folder and gonna create the list. Then press next. In here you have three options for the confirmation email. First one is double confirmation. Pick this one if you are really having a lot of traffic or you feel that fake emails coming to your the list. So here basically you need double confirmation first as a person fill the form is gonna need to go an email and press on the notification button then he will transfer to this some kind of the page in which one he have to press again and then final confirmation will email would be sent i think personally this is only for high traffic sites but for normal ones you can pick simple confirmation so that the email which one entered into the system wouldn't be legged until the owner would go in his email and would confirm this option so you can select this one or i gonna pick no confirmation email and then you can select to which confirmation page the user would be directed after submitting the form. I'm going to leave it none in this case. And then next here you are creating the messages. I already created first. So thank you. Your templates list will be sent to you shortly. The information provided is invalid and oh no, we can't send the templates to you. And then the last one, this field cannot be left blank. Press next and here your form. So you can preview here and here actually the the website which one you are need to link in your google recapture so maybe going to copy here go to notepad paste copy this bit go to your recapture go to the settings and change it here and press save it go back to your forms preview as you can see we're gonna see this kind of form this kind of i think personally is nice opting form if you have a facebook or any other let's say facebook i can put here in sign up button edit button gonna pick sign up and then i gonna i have to go back and i don't gonna i gonna paste the form if i gonna go here in my preview i'm gonna refresh so if someone gonna come up to my facebook page and would sign up he would transfer to the get elementor templates pack next option we're gonna go to the wordpress empty elementor page i'm gonna press and i'm gonna insert template make sure you're gonna need to change this information iframe you need to delete and then you need to go to the your forms copy this one go to the elementor page html which one is dragged here paste here and you need to adjust the height up to 700 something in this my case scenario but you can play as long as you're gonna get it right in here that is the gallery i just gonna go and insert some pictures and as you can see, those two colors is different. If I'm gonna go here, go to the style, I go to go and pick the new global. This one is all right, but say, let's say you want a different color, kind of this one. And I'm gonna do the, gonna put, create bag bluish. So I'm gonna create this one. And you can see it doesn't look nice in this scenario. You need to go and copy this color code. Go back to your forms, into design section, form design, background, and paste in here after that you have to do next next it's everything set up so you're just doing next next and then you need to copy again this code go to the html code and paste adjust the height and you have it you can see this one is a little bit different it is gray one so if i'm gonna go press style I can put the customs so that is why it's good to save to the custom colors then i just go and pick and it's changed i'm gonna update and as you can see recapture is protected and form let's enter my name let's say john and email and i'm gonna press subscribe 
Thank you. Your templates list will be sent to you short. We're gonna go now to the list, to the templates. You could see my email and my name has been recorded and stored in this list. I would love to hear what you think about the content. Just drop the comment below. If you get any benefit, please don't forget like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye bye to the next time.